Hello and welcome again to Christine's Creativity Cabinet. Well, um, I've been hitting all along in my last several videos about something called artificial intelligence. Well, this is this is the video where I, I'm going to tell you all about what I found out about artificial intelligence. Um, you know, it's kind of been a big thing. It's been all over the internet. Um, and um, But one of the areas that I haven't really seen it in is in the crafting area. Um, and uh, I kind of found out about some of the artistic um, possibilities of, of, of this through my sister, who's an incredible tech head. So she's all over artificial intelligence. And she posted on Facebook that she went to an artificial intelligence server on the internet and she um, was able to make these pictures of 50s housewives, only they're 50s housewives with iPhones. And they look totally convincing, photographic images of these 50s housewives, and they're, they're holding an iPhone like this, and they're like, da, 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 but they're 50s housewives, like photographic 50s housewives. And so I saw that, and I thought, wow, that's really interesting. So um, I eventually found a particular um, AI thing on the internet. It's called Imagine.Art. And what Imagine.Art does is that you, you put in um, just some words, like a phrase of what, what you want it to create. And then it creates something. I think how it does it is it searches on the internet for different kinds of images that fit those terms. And then it just uses its artificial brain to combine them all together to make something. So I started doing that. I'd been in a, a, a point where I was really kind of, kind of looking at the, what I, where I wanted the direction of my channel to go. So I was looking at all my old videos. I liked, went back through and watched all my old videos and kept track of my favorite projects. And so what I started doing is I started going into this imagine.art AI thing and just um, typing in the names of those projects and seeing what the artificial intelligence came up with. That's a concept right there. So um, some things were kind of interesting. Some were pretty awesome. Some were really, really, really super weird and strange. Um, and then, you know, I, I kept playing around with it more. I saved the images that I liked. And then I also started to enhance it by um, adding to the name of the image um, one or more of the materials that I used to make it. So, um, and then I got, ended up with a bunch of different, different stuff. And then I, th I thought to myself, you know what? I want to try to make some of these things. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take things to another level. Um, it's, you know, similar to doing a dupe where you go on to a site like Mackenzie Childs or Kirkwood or um, any of those things and you, um, you see a, a thing that you like and you think you want to try to dupe it. That's kind of where I'm going, going at with this. I'm, I'm going to be taking these, some of the images that I found, because, you know, some of them are not reproducible, but, um, and I'm not going to do all of them, but I, I picked out some ones that I, I thought were really interesting. And I'm going to try to make not necessarily 100% exact dupes, but to use them as inspiration pieces to create a new version of an old project that I did. I want to try it. Is that okay? Am I allowed? Can I? Can I try to? Is that okay? So. Now that I've said already way too many words in this intro, let me keep talking. Um, in this video, um, I'm going to do several different projects. Um, the first one that I'm going to do is, this is actually one of my favorite projects that I did a couple of summers ago. It was the um, Americana mini trailers, which I made out of popsicle sticks and aluminum foil pans. And I thought they turned out pretty cool. I don't know that that video didn't really get a whole lot of views, but I think it was cool. So, it, you know, it's my channel. I get to do what I want. Um, <laughs> so um, um, I put a number of different versions of Americana mini trailers plus different supplies into the Imagine.ai. And what I would usually get would be something like this, which is actually not a mini trailer. It, it's a full-size trailer that's just small. <laughs> you know, that, that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for some sort of, but finally when I put all the materials together, let me, let me just um, read to you, I wrote them down on here. Um, all the different ones that I added to just Americana mini trailers. So I added, I put in Americana mini trailers, 
aluminum foil pans, buttons, burlap ribbon, popsicle sticks, fine point paint markers, and foam stickers. <laughs> I put all of that in there. And this is what, what I, I, I turned up with. And now that l looks actually like a miniature trailer, something that I could dupe. And by an incredible coincidence, I was in Dollar Tree the other day. And what do I find in the Dollar Tree Plus section? I find this. Isn't that an adorable little mini trailer? So this is what I'm going to start with, but I'm going to try to do uh, a kind of kind of a sort of a dupe, um, but with my own spin of the one that I, I made from Imagine.art. So let's get to making. This should be interesting. one I'm going to try is um, the AI version of actually the blobs that I made for Mariah Elizabeth. Um, in case you don't remember or haven't seen that video, here they are. They're in a cute little basket and I actually sent them to Mariah Elizabeth as a gift. 
Um, but when I put blob plushies um, and rope basket into um, imagine.art, this is what I got. Now, isn't that just freaking adorable? So I'm going to try to make something like that. And that, that first is going to involve me actually making my own rope basket. So I'm going to get started right now. And here I go. We. extremely time-consuming, but it's gotta be great! Oh my gosh! It was an experience! It was an experience! Okay, um, I had started on my basket, was making pretty good progress making it, and then I went to the Dollar Tree and look what I found. Now my brains are thinking. Hmm, thinking. You know, if I found that originally, I could have just maybe colored that and made that into the basket. Um, but I already started my rope basket and it's, it's coming along well, so I think I'm just going to make a second basket out of this. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Okay, here are our two baskets. This is the rope basket. I think that turned out pretty well. Yeah, there's a lot of glue um, that hangs out, but I almost kind of like that. I think it makes it look a little bit more kind of rustic. And then here's our second basket, which turned out just fine. And so now it's time to make some blobs.
My request is adorable. I still haven't come to my senses and stopped the madness. For my next AI Enhance project, um, it was based upon this uh, bird collage that I had made for my um, kind of gothic Halloween uh, DIY video. Um, so when I entered in to um, um, imagine.art, the, the terms bird collage, bandana, canvas board, fine point paint markers, and wooden stickers this is what I got. So isn't that interesting? It's very far away from the original, but it, it looks like something I would, I would like to kind of sort of reproduce. I'm going to put my own spin on it because I was looking through my stash and I found these wonderful round napkins. This, this is a, a watermelon one. Oops, that's the wrong way. This is like a watermelon one, but I've, I've also got ones in some other fruit images and a floral one. And I'm going to combine these along with the bird, which I printed, and we'll see what we come up with. Now, stay with me on this journey I'm about to take you on. The last project is going to be a super quick and easy one. Um, it was when I, the original image was one of the squares that I put in the sliding square frame, in the sliding square frame video. And that was the one with the butterflies on it. 
Well, when I put in imagine.art, sliding square frame, butterfly 3D stickers, this is what I got. And I immediately saw that and thought, oh my God, I can totally dupe that. So let's get to duping. 